That's not what you're supposed to be doing right now. Come on, babe, stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. What up, bro? Hey, man, how you doing? How do you like this church? What blood? This birch. I mean, I mean this birch. Where's well, a table leader? Can you shut your mouth, blood? I might. Oh. Can? Really? Really, blood? Can? Man. Can? Man? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's up, 252? Woo! Woo! Hey, well, this is the part of our service where we give. This isn't just an opportunity to give, but to be blessed. Last week I talked about how uh, God loves a cheerful giver. Well, I found a video clip of a guy who loves giving to the church. We gotta check this video out. It's gonna be up on the screen. Stuck in my head. This is a bit of a night. I was just like, but uh, I want to see a dance off between this dude and Sam Hill. Sam Hill be a great dance off. This guy, and you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Watching this video, uh, it reminded me of a man uh, in the Bible named David. David was the guy that knocked out Goliath and the rock. He was anointed king over Israel by Samuel. And uh, David was a man after God's own heart. In the scriptures in Psalms 149.3, it's up here on the screen, Joe can help me out, okay? Praise his name with dancing accompanied by tambourine and harp. Right there, it says praise his name with dancing. So when we give our offering, we just give our worship to him. And our greatest motivation for cheerful and generous giving should be that it pleases the Lord, number one. And number two, that it reflects his gift of salvation to us. I mean, who's thankful for Jesus? Raise your hand. And if you don't have Jesus, guess what? Y'all need Jesus. That's why you're at church now, because y'all need Jesus. And hey, who had a good Valentine's Day? Did anybody get any good gifts? Yeah? Well, I'm going to tell you about God's gift and His Valentine gift to us. It wasn't flowers, it wasn't a card, it wasn't candy or chocolate. His gift was becoming a man and dying on the cross for our sins so we can live etern eternally with Him. That's what He did. He, he came as a man to die for us. And I just want to tell you, when we give tonight, you're going to get blessed so much. So I want you to just stretch your hands toward the offering buckets over here by Larry. So Father God, we just thank you for letting us come to your house tonight. And we just give generously with a willing heart. Because when we give to you, we know that you will watch over us and protect us because you are Jehovah Jireh, you are our provider. God, we just give willingly out of love tonight. And Lord, we just give cheerfully because you've given so much to us. We thank you, Lord, and we call this offering blessed. In Jesus' name, the church said, Amen. Amen.